All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we connected our business checking account to our QuickBooks Online. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at our transactions. Now, keep in mind, none of these transactions have been inputted into QuickBooks. This is just the transaction. So, and I'll be the first one to admit that I buy a lot of things on my business checking account uh, for personal use, things that are not a business expense, aka things that I cannot write off, uh, which is why I'm not too worried about this number right here as well as this number. Um, I should make a better habit of it. I recommend for your business checking account, only buy things that you need for your business. I get caught up a lot of times where I just grab the wrong card and I swipe it and it's things that I can't write off. So I'm not worried about this because I'm not going to try to get this down to 0, 0.0 because this isn't, I can't write all these things off. What I can do is I can scroll through my transactions from the last 90 days. Um, you can either look at it by date, newest to oldest. That's what I prefer. You click on this, it will do it by alphabetical order. You click on this, it will do it by what type of expense or what type of income that is. Uh, but I like to look at it from the oldest dates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scroll through all my transactions for the last 90 days and I'm going to go ahead and add my income and I'm going to go ahead and add my business business expenses aka the things that I could write off and I'm not going to do the other expenses. I'm not going to add them to QuickBooks because they were for personal use and don't do any benefit to add them. It's pretty much dead weight. Um, so again, that's why I'm not too worried about this number right here or this number. So let's look at my first expense. This is Evans Tires. Now QuickBooks does a really good job of when you source in your transactions, what type of expense they put this cohort, what, what kind of generalization expense they put this in. So if this is not accurate, and it is accurate, repair and maintenance is an expense, you go ahead and just click on it, even though the link doesn't look clickable. And right down here, let's look at this drop down menu. Here's all the type of expenses, advertising, bad debts, bank charges, commissions and fees, disposable fees, insurance, office expenses. Like if you buy something at Staples or Walmart, chances are QuickBooks will have office expense to the right of the transaction. They're very smart like that. And down here, here's all our incomes, discounts, sales, shipping, uncategorized income, stuff like that. Uh, so right now, again, none of these have been submitted into QuickBooks. What we want to do is submit the things that are business expenses. We want to submit that to QuickBooks as well as we want to submit uh, our incomes, whether it's PayPal or direct money transfer or just a ATM deposit. Those are the things we want to submit to QuickBooks, right? Here's the transactions, right? Here's the QuickBooks. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add this into QuickBooks. We'll click add just like that. Transfer added. Okay. Transaction added. Okay. So that's been submitted. Evans tires is not there anymore. Let's look at in QuickBooks. There it is. All right. This is a business expense repair and maintenance for my truck, $185. Uh, I haven't added any of my income right now. So if we look at our reports, my business is negative $185. That's not where you want to be. So let's go back to transactions and banking. Now, if you mess up on your QuickBooks, say that this wasn't an expense at all. This was actually income. You go ahead and click undo just like that. Now it shows up right back where it was. Evans tires, just like that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through your whole list and add all the income that you made through your business, not your $200 check you got from grandma for your birthday. And you want to go ahead and add all the things that you can write off, all your business expenses, all your gas receipts, all your office supplies, whatever it may be. Go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. Hopefully this made a little bit of sense. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. We go ahead and add some customers and deal with invoices.